tell me something about your life in Poland and before the war. I was a, ch a child, actually. When the war came, was out, I was, I was only 13 when the German army came in. And I was a schoolboy. And you were living where? In, in, in Kielce, Poland. Uh huh. So then what happened when the Nazis came? When the Nazis came, well, two years I was still home, but I was, but I was still uh, 15, we were in ghetto for a while, for a year, and then I was 15, they liquidated the ghetto, and, and then I was being, my higher brother was taken to the concentration camp, we had paper, work paper. Which camp? I went to a Poland concentration, first is Skarzysko, mm -hmm. Pionki, Pionki I was a year and the Philippines, Pionki I went to Auschwitz. You were in three different camps? Yeah. Why did they move they, you around? They moved, they moved everybody around always with something. So, the yeah, they, they did that. They were, uh, I know they liquidated the camp or not because then I got separated from my brother at that time. He was in, he went to work and I was still in camp. And when I they loaded up the wagons, my brother wasn't home yet, so uh, I went, went up in Auschwitz. Did your brother survive? No, he didn't survive. Any other family that was... Yeah, I mean, they took him somewhere else, so I don't know where. I found out later on after the war, but my father escaped. He was shot, so I was taken to Auschwitz. Then, like I say, and I was there. I just I slept overnight in Auschwitz. They had they had a lot of sap camps. I did that. Only to give me the number. Show me the number. Six four. It was called six six four seven. I think it was. I still remember. That was your number. You had to carry on your shirt, mm -hmm. and I think. And, that was your, you know, that was your name, six point seven. So how did you, um, how did you get out? After they liquidated, them, when they liquidated uh, that thing, or the camp, and the ghettos. So the end like of the. Like I said, that sort of they separate me, and my brother, to mm -hmm. work. They separate us. My father was with my sister, and mother, and I had a twelve-year-old sister. The brother was three years older than me. We were together for quite a while, for about a year, actually. We were together. And your sister, what happened to her? Well, who knows? She went to my mother. She was only 12, 13. She was 13 already. Wow. Yeah. So my what, father was with it. So who was, was there anybody in your family left when you got no, out? No. I went to the same farmer, which you know, my father. He told me the story about my father. Nobody. We lived across the street with my father and a sister and the whole family. There. Nobody was there. And my mother had a big family, nobody saw her. They took us to forest, little forest, they had to dig the old graves and they killed them. We were three, well, one, one of them, she got in the back of the truck, and I lay down and played dead. They kept poking you, if you don't move, you're dead. So what do you use? They kept poking you with a bayonet. And they poked me, which this time they poked me hard. So after, and I didn't move. If I moved, they poked you right through. <laughs> As I says, if I move, I'm dead. Did they go through your skin when they poked yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't do that hard. I mean, I, I mean, when they go on, my shirt was wet uh -huh. a lot. I went on haystack. And I slept in the haystack during the, during the daytime. Stayed in the haystack and at night. I went out looking for food. And there, there was not food. Food could find up in the barns. If you found potatoes, raw potatoes, and maybe found some eggs. There was little raw potatoes and eggs. I got this in there. I got nothing, no clothes, to, no, one set of clothes to change. That's all I had. So I walked, I walked, I, I, I jumped trains. I had no money to, no, no transportation at all. No, it was the, the, the 1945, it was not no, buses or anything. My father had a, a family of 11, nine of them in the United States. Wow. And my grandfather was here in Detroit, in Chicago, in Detroit, most of them lived. And he put it in the paper, and I happened to be a castle of my father lived there. And he says, oh my goodness, he called my aunt. She was only living in Los Angeles. Then she said, your father, you changed your brother's son. And then I got connected with her, and sent her a picture, because I had my face on my, my father. And, and it, took him, it took him several years, because I wasn't staying in one place. I still come looking for my brother. I was 19 when I came out, so he was 22. I couldn't find him. 
and the father later he died, uh, typhus. So I lived in Germany four years. From how, there I how, immigrated. How was it to be in Germany? And were you in much contact with German people? Yeah, yeah. I spoke a good German. I learned a good German. Very yeah. easy to learn. Somebody spoke Yiddish, you could learn easy German. So they, so you had to hide that you were Jewish yeah, well, the whole like, time? Yeah, well, you know, I was still, I was still helping. I was still helping the people. And uh, I moved into a house, an old couple. They gave me a room. Emigrated. 1950. Where did you go first when you came here? I came right here because my family lived here already. Oh, wow. California. I went from, we came on a boat, an uh, army boat. General Hersey was the name of the boat. And when I came here, they, you know, the family was waiting. They knew I'm coming. So you said to me earlier that you would never want to go back to Poland. No. Why? I hate the Jews. Very under semi made up story. In fact, my own hometown Kelsen, there was a story. I was in 1945, 1946, my daughter found that in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Washington, that Holocaust place, they could find somebody. They found my name in there. So, you know, when I came here, I had no trade. And I learned how to press clothes. I was getting paid 75 cents an hour those days. The minimum wage was 75 cents an hour. Wow. But I still lived in my end, so she didn't want any money. Yeah. Later on, I got a Another job, better job, was making a dollar, a quarter of a dollar, pressing clothes. The downtown Los Angeles used to be all, the, the clothing factories were all Jewish hands. I went to night school, that's why I met my wife. Hmm. Hamilton High School to learn English. And I met a, a girl in there, and she was not Jewish. I, I always thought to myself, I never married a Catholic, they hated us. I fell in love with a Catholic woman. I married that to a girl, but then I had a friend of mine who used to have a clinic store, although he was a Russian Jew. He says, I'm selling this store. I was still pressing while I was learning how to clean clothes. Um, and he sold me the business and then I made the go. But my wife, he bought one and she was taking care of the porn and I was taking care of the bed. Not learned how to clean. And I still have the same business. So I want to go back to, to Poland because of your, your intense reaction to, you know, the anti-Semitism yeah, there. That's terrible. Killing the police and soldiers come and start killing. They killed for. I was the guard already. I was gone. I left at the end of that year. That, that happened 1946. I was back to Germany. I said, This is not my home anymore. I don't want to stay here. But I knew Jews there. I had a young partner who was Jewish for a while. They're building a very. They've been building a very beautiful Jewish community where I was living in Wrocław. Rotslav, eh? And it's very, oh. it's very popular. It's where a lot of uh, young people go there that are not Jewish and older. They go there for concerts. And um, in my restaurant, I had a group of young Poles who were studying Jewish culture. Is that so? Yeah, so there's a lot. It's a different Poles. It changed a lot. Yeah, Maybe the younger people are different. Be. The old people. Well, I listen to the younger, younger people. The younger people would tell me that their grandmothers would tell them the terrible things about yeah. the Jews. It was their grandmothers yeah. Who, who. Yeah, yeah. People by age. And I had some some very very strong support from Catholics in the arts right. there. They were yeah. some of my best friends and my yeah. biggest supporters. So it's really a mix. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would. I, I hate them. When I came by, I said I hate them more than the Germans. Gary, my son was married to German. He was scared to tell me. I don't hate him. I don't know. I got no hate. But you got hate. Keep on hating. She wasn't born then. I was going to say, how can you blame people that weren't there? You know. Yeah. And I think a lot of Germans at the time also were stuck. They had but no a lot choice. of them hated white people. Were hated. They wouldn't buy no German cars. They wouldn't eat any German food. But I, I don't have that hate. No, I don't either. I don't understand that. I don't have that hate. I was saved twice from going to the chambers. I was, I was in the town Buna. A former was a, a German uh, criminal because Hitler took all the, 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 to J, I mean, the, to soldiers. There were no soldiers. They were old people. Mm -hmm. So to, let out the people from jail to make foremans over us. Wow. And this guy was a killer. Mm -hmm. He said, I asked him, what did you do for a living? I killed people. He was a German. And he was so nice to us. He brought extra food. He saved my life twice. So you were the only survivor of your family? My family, of Europe. I, my grandparents had a building. And we lived in a little a little house we had for our grandparents gave to my father, we lived there. When I came back, nobody was there. Somebody else was living in my I looked at a little shack, we lived in a two room house. 
Somebody else lived there. <laughs> I couldn't prove anything, so I left. I said, forget it, I don't want that money. Do you know about this, the um, controversy over Jews going back to Poland and trying to reclaim their property? My uncle did, went back after 50 years. He says, I'm going to make the fight some family. When the, he went back, and there was a, you're talking about maybe uh, f 40 years ago. I was a little, he went back. I says, maybe I'll go back. And I had a friend, the guy still remember him, a Pol Polak in the same town. He says, he says, I'll pick you up. My son will pick you up. Don't go by yourself. You get you get killed. Well, I know Poles who went back to Wrocław. I think Wrocław. probably in the in the bigger cities it wasn't as. as... There weren't that many Jews as the morning. Kelsa, maybe. Of I... course, of course, Wrocław was unique because it was part of Germany. It was Breslau. Yeah, Breslau. And then many. Oh, um, that's what. That's so almost of the Germans. Yeah, and many and many Poles from Ukraine and, and Lithuania. Yeah. That's migrated what was there. That, that. 